Once Saint Avair was traveling by foot she got tired and sat under a java plum tree by now she had written plenty of poems and had developed a huge ego Lord Murugan wanted to challenge her and appeared as a shepherd sitting on top of the tree he then said grandma you look so tired do you want some fruits when she answered yes he asked tell me grandma do you want sutta pazam or sudata pazam sutta has two meanings one cooked and the other hot avayar thought that the kid was blabbering something as she considered him to be illiterate told him she wanted sudata pazam fruit that is not hot or cooked when the boy shook the tree the fruits fell all over the ground avayar started picking those fruits she started to blow away the sand in the fruit before eating it the boy then exclaimed is the fruit hot the gesture of blowing the sand in the fruit appeared as if the fruit was hot it also means that the fruit that fell to the ground is heated up by the earth's heat and the one that is caught before it falls to the ground is not then murugan said to her we desired to talk to you you are famous for your wit will you answer a few questions avayar said with pleasure murugan asked what is hard avayar said poverty in young age is harder harder still is a disease murugan asked what is sweet avayar said solitude sweeter is the worship of this lord sweeter still is the company of godly men murugan asked what is great avayar said the world is big brahma the creator is bigger He was born of the navel of Vishnu who sleeps on the ocean of milk. Agastya is greater for he drank all the ocean. He was born of the pot of clay made of earth carried by Adi Shesha the serpent. This serpent is a ring for the little finger of mother Parvati who is a part and parcel of Shiva. And where is Shiva? he is imprisoned in the heart of a devotee so the greatness of a devotee is indescribable murugan said one more question what is rare avayar said human birth finally murugan said well answered who else can give such answers except the wise avay avayar had a realization she thought the boy to be illiterate but he has taught her a big lesson moreover she had a momentary pride and neglect in her mind thinking that the boy is illiterate and she was more knowledgeable this incident made her realize that nobody should be underestimated she also felt that this should be the act of the divine and requested the boy to reveal his true self Then the boy revealed that he was Lord Murugan and she worshiped him with joy. Lord Murugan blesses her with an enchanting vision. Avai kneels down, smiles and sings a beautiful hymn in praise of her beloved Lord Murugan. Moral of the story: nobody should be underestimated. That's all. I hope you love this story. Thank you very much. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Krishna.